Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It is Wednesday, so it means a new video and last week I showed you guys the best settings for 1080p recording and today I'm going to show you guys the best settings for 720p recording and also I want to mention that next week on I will upload tutorials about Sony Vegas how to you know, edit audio. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to subscribe down below. Today I'm going to show you guys the best settings for 720p recording. So I would say that you're right into it. All right, so as you can see, we're in Sony Vegas right now. If you want to render out a clip in 1080p or 720p, you just want to make sure that your clip is already unedited and that's already HD. As you guys can see, this clip of Raymond Digital, as you can see, which you can get some templates on, the link is in the description. As you can see, this clip of Raymond Digital is freaking insane. The quality is just, it could be 4K, I don't know, but it's just, the, the quality is insane. In order to have good quality, you need to have good HD footage because like if you recorded a video in 480p, um, don't let yourself think that you can render it out and it's gonna be HD when you render it out in, in Sony Vegas in 1080p or 720p, it doesn't work that way. You also wanna make sure that your footage is HD, so you filmed with a you know a DSLR camera or any camera that has an HD function. That's the first thing. So the second thing is when you when you're done editing and stuff, you always want to select everything that you want to render out. That's what basically that's what I always do. So you're sure you don't miss anything. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to this little icon. This box pops up and here you're going to select uh, your FPS and your resolution. We want to render out in 720p. So we're just going to go click on this drop down menu and you want to pick 720p in the list, which is this one. Boom. And then you can choose what frame rate you want. Do you want your frames to be uh, 30 FPS? Do you want your video in 50 FPS, 60 FPS? You can choose all of that in this list. So if you want to have your videos at 30 FPS, you can just you can click on this one NTSC if you Want to have your video in 50 fps you just want to click this double pal 50 and then if you want to have your video in 720p 60 fps just pick the one at the bottom which is this one double ntsc i would say let's just render this one in 30 fps on the bottom you see this full resolution rendering quality you want to put this on best you know standard is going to be on good but you want to put this on best boom then you want to click on apply and press on ok and now the rendering process will start so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the file in the corner render as and then this box pops up and basically the format you want to choose main concept avc aac mp4 this one and as you can see those equal signs means that this matches with your uh, project video settings. So if you want to render out your video in 720p, you see this equal sign. That means that this is the right preset for 720p. So you want to pick this one and you want to click on customize templates. And here you need to pick the same frame rate as you did in uh, the video project properties. For 50 FPS, you want to fill in just 50. It's automatically going automatically 50 FPS, of course. And if, if you picked it in 60, you just want to pick, pick 60. It automatically goes to 60 FPS. So, but I what I did is, if you guys remember, I just pick on 30 FPS. Boom, that's it. You also want to pick your encode mode. You render using CPU only because that's the faster way and it, there's not a lot of pressure on your CPU when you're rendering. So you click on OK. The next thing you want to do is you just want to click on render so as you guys can see it's rendering it's really easy so that's the same list guys so if you want to see more of the sony vegas tutorials every wednesday at 12 p.m pst make sure to subscribe down below i want to thank you guys for watching for the continuous support i'll see you guys next week wednesday for a new sony vegas tutorial so i would say i will see you guys next week okay so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car playing around with your cell phone drop comments down below and i'll be more happy to make a video about it. my own clothing line through the description down below even if you're not a subscriber correctly and quickly twitter and verification process you can find a link down below i'm done with this kind of shit opportunity is there as long as you guys keep watching my videos i will keep making them